Hi everyone! Welcome back to another episode of How to Crypto. Today, I'm back with another easy tutorial on how to download Paxful application for your Android device. Now, let's get started. Tap open your Play Store from your Android device. Go to the search box at the top and type in Paxful. Once you make your search, you should see the application displayed at the very top on the next page. Paxful is a peer-to-peer -peer digital currency buying and selling platform. It believes in providing people with equal access to finance by allowing them to trade cryptocurrency and earn money in a safe and secure environment. Once you find the application that says Paxful Bitcoin and Crypto Wallet slash buy BTC Ethereum USDT from Paxful, this application right here, simply tap the install button in green. Wait for your application to be downloaded on your Android device. It'll only take a while depending upon your internet speed, so while downloading any kind of an application, make sure that you have the strongest connection that you need. Once the application is downloaded, it'll take a while to install, which is an automatic process. Wait until it does, and as soon as you see an open button popping up, it means that your application is downloaded. Tap on open to launch the app open. That is how you can easily download Paxful application for your Android device. How to create Paxful account now let's get started. Open up a web browser of your choice. Go to the official website of Paxful by typing in www.paxful.com and search. You'll end up in the official web page of Paxful which looks like this. Paxful is a peer-to-peer -peer exchange platform founded in 2015 by a group of engineers with the purpose of making Bitcoin more accessible. The site enables a direct exchange where cryptocurrency buyers and sellers may meet and interact with one another. From the main homepage, click the register button in the top right hand corner in order to sign up for Paxful. To create your account, you can either choose phone number or email tab from the top. If you choose email, you'll need to type in a valid email address and create a new password for your account. If you want to type in the phone number, make sure to click on a phone number tab, select your country from the drop down and then type in your phone number followed by a password. I'm gonna use email in today's video. Type in your email address. While typing in an email address, make sure to enter the email address that you have an access to. Now, head over to the next field and create a password for your Paxful account. While creating a password, make sure that your password is at least 8 characters long with the uppercase letter, lowercase letter and one special character and also one numerical character. Once you create a password that matches the criteria, you should see a green line highlighted right beneath your password box. Finally, click on Create Account. Complete the verification puzzle and your verification is successful. On the next page, you'll need to verify your email address. Simply go open a new tab, open up the email service provider that you used while signing up for Paxful. Open up the same email inbox and you'll receive an email from Paxful. Click open the email and then copy the code that you received. Type in the code into the text box. Wait for a few seconds. Now you'll also need to verify your phone number. Simply select your country code from the drop down and type in a valid phone number. Click on send code in order to verify your phone number. You'll receive a confirmation code sent to your mobile number. Simply wait for the code. Once you enter the confirmation code, you'll be taken to your next step. Once you verify the confirmation code, you'll be taken to this page over here. You can take a quick tour for Paxful by clicking on the next box button right here and that is how you can easily open up or create a new account for Paxful. This will be your home page where you can buy and sell crypto according to your choice. How to log into Paxful account on your desktop. So now let's jump into the video. Open up a web browser of your choice. As soon as you do that, go to the web address bar that appears at the very top of the screen and type in www.paxful.com and enter. You'll end up in the official web page of Paxful full which looks like this. Go to the top right hand corner of the screen and you'll be able to see two buttons displayed. If you don't have an account yet, click the register button and enter your information in order to create a new account for Paxful. If you already have an account and you would like to log in, click the log in link at the top right hand corner. You'll end up in the login area for Paxful which looks like this. In the first text box, you can either enter your phone number associated with Paxful or your email address. Type in any one information, but make sure to type it in correct. Once you are done, head over to the next field where it says password. 
Type in the password for your accounts. Make sure to enter the same password that you created while signing up. You can double check your password by clicking on the eye icon in the right corner. In case you don't remember your password, click on the forgot password link above and follow the on-screen prompts in order to reset to a new password. Finally, after you are done entering your credentials, click on log in. Complete the verification by dragging the puzzle into the piece. Wait for a few seconds and there you can easily see and find yourself inside your Paxful account right away. How to change password on Paxful If you're pretty much skeptical about the security of your account, then you can change your password now and then so that you can keep your account secure. Now let's jump right into the video. Open up a web browser of your choice. Make sure that you're logged into your Paxful account by typing in www.paxful.com and search. Once you're logged in, click on your profile icon at the upper right hand corner and this will bring up a pop-up menu. Click the settings button from the expanded pop-up and this will open up your account settings. Click on the security tab from the left hand side of the screen. If you scroll a bit down after that, you should see change password option. Type in your current password for your Paxful account into the first box. Now enter the new password that you are trying to change to. Make sure that your password is at least 8 characters long with one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter and one special character. Also, don't forget to put in one numeric character in your password as well. Now you'll need to confirm typing in your new password one more time into the last text box and finally click on change password. Remember that changing your password will log you out of all of your active sessions. Once you click on change password, wait for a few seconds and there you have successfully changed your password for Paxful. You can save your password for future use by clicking on save at the upper right. Now this will redirect you to the login area of Paxful. Simply enter your valid information that is your phone number or your email address followed by your new password. Click on the login button, complete the verification in the pop-up and there you have successfully changed your password and logged in with your new password for Paxful. How to find wallet address on Paxful? If you want to find a wallet address on Paxful, first tap open Paxful application from the app drawer and make sure that you log into it. Once you're logged into your account, in order to find a wallet address of a particular cryptocurrency on Paxful, first, go ahead and tap on the wallet button at the bottom of the screen. Now, in this page, the total balance that is available on your Paxful wallet will be displayed. In order to find a wallet address of a particular cryptocurrency, tap on the receive button at the top. Now select the cryptocurrency that you want to know the wallet address of. Let me select Bitcoin. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to see your wallet address and your QR code displayed in the pop-up. Simply tap on copy to clipboard in order to copy your wallet address. You can now share your wallet address from whom you'd like to receive a cryptocurrency from. How to change your username for a Paxful account. Now let's jump right into the video. Open up a web browser of your choice and go to www.paxful.com and press enter. Make sure that you log in to Paxful account by entering your valid credentials and you'll see this kind of an interface. This is your main homepage for Paxful after you log in. In order to change your username, go to the top right hand corner where you can see a human figure. Give it a click and from the expanded menu, select settings. You'll end up in your account settings page. Your username will be displayed right here on the right hand side of the screen. Simply enter the new username that you want to change to into the text box. You can also upload an image of yourself by clicking on upload image. Select an image from your Instagram, Facebook or any other options over here and upload a profile picture for yourself. Click on upload after selecting a picture. Once you've made necessary changes, click on the save button right next to your username and in the pop-up, click on set username. Remember that once you set your username, you won't be able to change it later. Click on set username to confirm and there you have successfully changed your username for Paxful. How to change language on Paxful. Now let's get started. Tap open your Paxful application from the app drawer and make sure that you're logged into your account. Once you are, from the main home page, go to the account button that appears at the lower right hand corner and give it a tap. From the account section, you should be able to see an option that says language right under change password. Give it a tap and you'll get to select from the bunch of languages displayed on the next screen. Simply select your preferred language and give it a tap. 
In the pop-up that asks you if you want to change your language, tap on Restart since you'll need to restart the application in order to confirm your language change. Soon after you restart your system, you'll be able to change your language for Paxful. How to turn on dark mode on Paxful mobile application. Now let's get started. Tap open your Paxful application from the app drawer and make sure that you log into it. Once you're logged in, you should see this kind of an interface. You'll be on your home screen of Paxful. Go to the account tab at the bottom right hand corner and give it a tap. From the account information page, you should see an option that says dark mode right under notifications. Give it a tap and you'll be able to see a pop up. Click on the on button so that you can change your Paxful application to the dark mode. If you want to change it back again, you'll need to tap on the off option to go back to the default display of Paxful. You can also select auto adjustment for the dark mode. Tap on system and the system will adjust the appearance based on your device settings. How to disable two-factor authentication on Paxful. Now let's jump right into the video. Open up a web browser and get logged into Paxful first. Once you're logged into your Paxful account, go to the top right hand corner and click on your profile icon over here and this will bring up a pop-up menu. Now click on the settings button in the expanded pop-up and go to the security tab from the left hand side of your screen. Right where it says two-factor authentication settings. Disable the button right next to log in. Now you'll need to enter the code from your authentication app which is available on your smartphone or your computer. Simply open up your authentication app and you'll be able to see a code displayed. Simply type in the code and you'll be able to disable two-factor authentication for Paxful. Quite easy, isn't it? How to enable two-factor authentication on Paxful. First, open up Paxful application from your mobile device. Make sure that you're logged into your account. From the main homepage, tap on the account button at the bottom right hand corner. Now, from the accounts tab, Scroll all the way down under security. In order to set up your two-factor authentication, tap on the two-factor for login option over here and it will show you two options over there. Either you can choose the SMS option or Google Authenticator or Authy for two-factor authentication. In my case, let me tap on the VM mobile application option. Soon after you do that, you'll need to go ahead and select your security questions along with its answer so that you can verify these answers if you ever decide to change your phone number with Paxful. Type in your first question by selecting from the list. Answer your question. After you mention all of the security questions and its answers, tap the save button at the bottom. Now, simply copy the code and tap on this Google Authenticator option over here. You can also tap on Authy, download the application from your Play Store and paste in the code. Let me tap on Google Authenticator over here and now tap on OK in order to save key for your Paxful wallet. Click on OK and you'll be able to see a Paxful wallet code displayed on the screen. Simply copy the code by pressing hold to it. Go back to Paxful and tap next. Now enter the code that you received into the text box. Your code is being verified. As you can see that you've enabled two-factor for login on Paxful. How to buy Bitcoin with bank transfer on Paxful. Now let's jump right into the video. Open up a web browser of your choice. Log into your Paxful account by going to www.paxful.com and press enter. Once you're logged in, click on the buy button at the top left hand corner in order to buy Bitcoin with bank transfer. Right under buy, make sure that you've selected Bitcoin from the list. Right under, you should see a hamburger menu beside all payment method. Click it on and select bank transfer option from the top of the screen. Click one of the options from the bank transfer choices and once you choose bank transfer as a payment method, go ahead and enter the amount that you are willing to spend. Finally, find offers by clicking on find offers and you'll be able to view the offers for the amount you selected. Finally, click on buy button if the offer is available and you'll be able to buy Bitcoin with bank transfer right away. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll soon be back with more tutorial videos like this. Thanks for watching.